Let's do it. My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me on the podcast right now is the Crawford County Victims Advocate, Jim Scott. Hello, Jim. Good morning, Randy. How are you? I'm great, Jim. How about you? Good, good, good. Thanks for having me on. Well, no problem. It, you know, it seems like I always have you on during times that uh, we come into a certain season or whatever. And of course, sure. right now, you know, we're just about, we're over halfway done with October. We're heading into that holiday season. And, you know, pretty much holiday season starts after Halloween. Now. It sure does. And people start thinking about ordering stuff and they start thinking right. about stuff and but there's a lot of scams that, you know, that happens this time of year. Quite a few of well, them. Well, yeah, and, and we're trusting people, you know, and, right. and especially locally. We, we trust people. And, and uh, But one of the old adages is if it's too good to be true, <laughs> if it sounds too good to be true, it probably right, is. Right. You know, how many times have we heard that? So, oh, yeah. and, and, a, and a lot of the scams are, you know, um, on social media anymore because everybody's mm-hmm. on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Yeah. And so, you know, we still have the porch pirates. You know, right. we oh, talked sure. about that briefly yeah. off the air. Yeah. So we still have those people. We have to be careful with those. But there's still a lot of people that are going to uh, somehow access your credit card information and personal information. So uh, the Better Business Bureau just sent out last week uh, a, a little um, guide about uh, their top 12 on the naughty list. The, one, so, the first one, misleading social media has... I've seen a lot of real estate ones, or fake real estate, fake rental places that right. are that are not uh, for real. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like vacations, a lot of people, yeah. you know, maybe want to go somewhere warm right. for a week or so over Christmas, you know, and yeah, or, or even you know some of our retired uh, c- uh, citizens, maybe they want to go in the winter, take January, and February off. Sure. Yeah, we have to be careful with those real estate companies. Make sure it's a reputable company. Sure, right. Yeah, because all they want is your information, right? That's right. Yeah, as, long, as, as soon as they get it, it's gone. It's it, it, and, and even if it's a small deposit, maybe they make you put down a few hundred dollars, you know, for a deposit. Once they get your credit card, then it's going to be several thousand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it so takes a long time to get that back to it. If yeah. ever, if, if ever, ever, if ever. Right, yeah, exactly. yeah. Sadly, you know, these people, some of them are overseas, mm-hmm. and we will never that, see. Them. That seems to be the big problem. Is a lot of it's overseas, and they just. Get it back, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We just can't track it, you know, no. all the way over there. The gift card so, thing, we always see the gift card thing, right? Oh, yeah, the gift card. Don't exchange gift cards for anything like that. Right. Don't go out and buy a thousand dollars worth of, uh, of uh, Google or, or Apple gift cards or whatever. That's yeah. that's a scam. Oh, the big time, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and you know, and I guess we're, we're kind of coming out of the Bitcoin thing and, and yeah. all the, the euro currency and everything, but uh, yeah, we just have to be careful. Right. Which we really do. And don't give people your, your information. Um, you know, like, um, you know, especially in, in, in some of the puppy, you know, everybody wants a puppy for their kids or right, their grandchildren. Right. Well, we're even running into that now. You know, they yeah. get on, you know, Facebook and they see a, a puppy. One of my friends wanted to do that for her granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And they took her for a couple thousand dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah. yeah. And it was somewhere, I think it was in Illinois. And, or, well, they claimed to be from Illinois. Yeah. And so they never never saw their money. I was going to say, she never saw the puppy either. Never saw the puppy, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, oh, wow. you know, so everybody's heartbroken. Yeah, exactly. Except the scammer. Yeah, and it's, uh, but uh, it's, it's too bad that the, but the social media, it's like that. It's, it it's, really yeah. is. Oh, you know, they have all kinds of different things. Gift exchange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, the, you know, those kinds of things where... And it goes kind of hand in hand mm-hmm. with the gift cards. You know, you get a gift card, download it, send it to them. Yeah. And then they're supposed to send uh, send one back. And maybe they send one back, but the money's already gone. Right. And the yeah. money's off the account by then. So we just have to be careful with things like that. Uh, like like holiday apps, it says here. Even apps, are, there, there's scams out there with those. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, and, and, there, and there again, once you put your information in, you're not getting it back. You're really not getting it back, so we just have to be very careful. And one thing that uh, that I like to warn people about is the difference between a credit card and a debit card. Mm-hmm. Once somebody gets your debit card, your bank account is gone, yeah. and there's no protection. Right. You know, where a credit card, most credit card companies have like a fifty dollar uh, limit for you know for what you're responsible for. So you know, the, the, about the safest way to buy stuff is use a gift card. Buy go out and buy a gift card for yourself, right? And use it online. Sure. You know, instead of paying with a credit card. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're using the number, mm-hmm. you're okay. But yeah. it, but it, a lot of these places want you to take a picture right. of the car. Oh yeah. And yeah. then send them the picture. You know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah don't. Yeah, let's not do that. No, let's exactly. not do that. Uh, so. Here's another one. This is one that I've seen quite a few. Is the alerts about compromised accounts. I'll get something in an email saying your Netflix account has been uh, uh, illegally accessed. You need to. We're going to cancel it now if you don't contact us right now. Right. 
put your name and password in and so they see it and it looks real. They it look does. like real. What I always do, and here's a hint that for me it works, I always check the email address. Sure. Where's it going to? Yeah, right. You know, yeah. 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 If if people just hover that arrow yeah. right over the address and don't click it, just hover right. it over there. Yeah. And then at the bottom of your screen, you see where it's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Or try to find out where it came from. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and if it's legitimate, call them or, you know, yeah. whatever. Then That's what always do that. Call them first. Hey, don't call the number that's on the email. Right. Look up, go to Netflix, regular site or whatever, if it's Netflix. Right. Call their customer service and say, this is what happened. Sure. Right. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, we run into we run into that still. And, it, and it, yeah. they, they keep doing it because it works. Yeah. Or your electric's yeah. going to be shut off. Sure. Yeah. yeah we, get, lot, we get scared. And I get them from companies that don't even have to my power supply. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. But, but people yeah. fall for it. They don't know the difference. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it's confusing because, like you say, the ad or the... Um, the email looks legitimate. Yeah. So if it's yeah, if it's the power company, just call them. Exactly. You know, and if there's nothing going on, then it's fine. Yeah. yeah. So, just call their customer service. They'll right. let you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And most of the time, they're not going to send you an email saying this says we're going to cancel, we're going to cancel your account and all that. So right. my favorite one is they were gonna, <laughs> my social security number. They said it was compromised. We were cancel my social security number. <laughs> right. right. They don't, yeah. You don't cancel your social security. Number. Right. But yeah. people don't know the difference. Right. Do they? Yeah. 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 Especially if, if they're confused about right, it. Right. And this is a vulnerable time. Right. You know, let's face it, we're going into the holidays and we're right. all so busy right now worrying about the kids and the grandchildren and all mm. that. Um, so, yeah, they catch us off guard, really. And that's why they do it this time of year. Oh, yeah. 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 And then they just flood us. I mean, how, how, many spam, how many spam emails do we get every day? I get tons here, especially 10, work 15, ones. 20? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're really bad now. And we have a filter system, even. They even, you know, have a filter system with the company that filters most of that out. We still get them. Right. Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good. What what gets me if I had one that posed as my boss, said it was Kim, my boss. Sure. And she said, Hey, I want to do a, a favor for the employees. I want you to go out and buy gift cards and then come back and then take pictures of them, send them to me. Right. And I'm like, she's not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. people it looked like it was legit. Sure. But think yeah. if you're a big company, maybe yeah. you have five hundred employees. Yeah. You think, oh, hey, the boss wants me to do this. Yeah, you know? exactly. Right, yeah. But, any, but like, you know, there, we, there again, take a picture and send it to us. Yeah. That's the key. That's the That's key. The key. Yeah. yeah. And it said, don't tell anybody. So I said, don't, don't tell anybody. Is this a surprise? Or, you right. know, yeah. 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 So, you know, and then, and then like fake charities. Yeah, right. You know, we're a giving society. You know, we really are. And, we, you know, especially this time of year, we want to help make Christmas better for right. someone else. Yeah. Well, you know, when we donate money, let's make sure we're donating it to someone local. Yeah. You know, somebody that really needs it. Uh, so the fake charity thing where they want to, uh, once they get your credit card there again, that's the yeah. key. You're done. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 we're yeah. done. Yeah, so, cool. yeah. Uh, temporary holiday, temporary holiday jobs. Yeah, there's a scams out with those too. Yeah, yeah, those. Yeah, and and and, and since COVID, those probably aren't as bad, but they're yeah. going to be kicking up again. Yeah. You know, we used to see it at the mall all the time. Oh, you go yeah, to the mall, yeah. and there's all the kiosks up and down. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're and. And the thing is, if somebody wants to hire you, they don't want your credit card number right, exactly. to exactly. charge you for anything. Right, right, right. So it's just some of it's common sense, but like we say, you yeah. know, people fall for it all the well, time. Yeah, we do. You know, yeah. we do. It's sad. It really is. Um, look like websites. That's another bad one out there. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah we kind of touched on that already. You yeah. know, uh, just donate it if you if you don't know. Yeah, just, just don't donate to that. No, don't do that, or or don't fall for don't. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the GoFundMe. I mean, that's you know that that's one that you know people try to all work everyone off all the time. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah every every day. So, yeah. um, even fake shipping notifications, like like you said, hey, if I, my other one I've seen too. Uh, hey, uh, they'll have something like uh, they'll have a fake. Uh, Receipt say that you bought something like a, an iPhone for eight hundred dollars, sure, you know, or something, and you're like, "Panic! I didn't buy this," you know. Right. But again, it's a fake address. They get yeah. all your information again. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and and I think on, on that instance, we're afraid that they're yeah. going to charge us the eight hundred, right. right? You know, so we so we log in and and there it is. You but, know, yeah. As soon as we click the button, we're done. Exactly. Well, here's the thing: I'll step back and think like. Well, I didn't buy this. And what, what account did they charge it to? Sure. They don't even have my account information. I didn't buy this. You know what I mean? You know, I, you get to really yeah. stop. But if you panic, say, oh, I can't afford $800, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and try to get it taken off when it wasn't there in the first place. Uh, well, another one that I've seen is like um, um, virus, antivirus. Like sure. Like you just bought a year premium for $300 or whatever. Right. When you didn't, I yeah. mean, but they get your information again. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, or, or like a, like Sirius XM. Yeah. I know right. a lot of people do that as a gift for their yeah. children or whatever. Yeah. And we'll get we'll get a fake uh, fake email from Sirius. 
Yeah, and say that your, your account's been compromised. Right. You need to call us right now or, or send us your login information. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my favorite thing is send yeah. us your, your login information. Right. And that's what they want. Sure. Yeah, yeah your password and everything. Oh, I know people do it or they wouldn't do that. You know? Yeah, sure. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of it's our older population that they pick on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, you know, and, and, and then the grandparents scam. Yeah. You know, we talked about that, yeah. I think, last summer. Yeah, right. You know, and, and they try to... Uh, there again, it's vulnerability. It is, you know, and uh, but I think you know, like we like we started this segment. You know, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Exactly. You know, and yeah, and, and it's not rude to be shrewd. We talked about that before. True. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah, we, we, I know we want to be polite and uh, take people at their word, but we just can't anymore. Sad. I don't know how people can live with themselves of, of, of scamming these older people that taking right. their life savings or whatever, you know, yeah. or they're being on a limited budget anyway. Sure. And just taking their money. I don't know how you can even live with yourself. Yeah, I, I don't mean they, 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 don't, they don't care. Right, yeah, they're sociopaths yeah, is what they exactly. are. So again, the moral to the story, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, sure. is what we're saying. So yeah. keep an eye out for uh, scams this year. Sure, yeah. And, 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 and the thing is, if, if you think you've been scammed or if you think maybe your parent or grandparent or a friend has been scammed, you know, call the police right away. Yeah. You know, our local police, they're great to work with. They'll help you out. Uh, I know, you know, in the past, we've helped close people's bank accounts, open new accounts. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice we have local banks that will work with us very well. So, you know, if, if you think you've been scammed, don't don't put your head in the sand. Let's get it taken care of right away. Get your card scanned, canceled right away, too. If you think right. they stole your number, get on there and get it canceled right now. Right, sure. Yeah, get a yeah. new card or whatever, new number. And sure, all yeah. Stuff. And, and I'll, I'll leave my phone number for people. Go it's it's 419-562-9782. So that rings right into the prosecutor's office. I work out of the county prosecutor's office. So if people think they've been scammed, you know, call. We'll look and check it out and see. Thank you so much, Jim. Thanks, Randy.